See, y'all not gonna remember the video I posted on this being the last ride. Got rid of the video because now gotta bring this bitch back to life. 92 Fox Body GT. It's my third time bringing this bitch back to life, but pretty much is what we're working on. Um, the uh, alternator plug right here. Got to do a replacement. What I'm gonna do, splice into these wires right here that was so poorly shamely done by somebody else. None of my people's, not my work. Um, went to Harbor Freight. Got the wire. Damn. Got the, uh, the wire snips so I could splice and cut the shit open, whatever. Then we got the shrink wraps, even though it looks like it already comes with shrink wraps on the, um, the new harness and plug in, whatever, as it is. It doesn't really hurt to have more, so we're just gonna think. But yo, 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 what's happening? Uh, it's been a minute for a video. Don't mind me right now. Cut my hair. Got no haircut right now. My barber's in Miami having fucking fun while I'm sitting here looking like a bum. But yeah, pretty much that's what we're gonna do today. Bringing back the GT. Um, I know I posted a video talking about that it was the last ride. But I'm um, going through a lot of, you know, family shit and whatever. Yes, this car was mine once upon a time. But like I said, didn't want to deal with any of the uh, family shit. So I temporarily gave it back. But now I permanently got it back because there's a whole lot of shit going on in the background that obviously either A, I don't post on my social media, which means I need to really drop my IG right here because, yo, it is crazy. We passed 100 subs. Shit is crazy, bro. And then on top of it, we're almost creeping at 150. 150 subs, bro. That shit is crazy. It is so dope. I appreciate whether you're subbing for old content, if you're subbing for the new content, any views, likes, whatever, just know I greatly appreciate it from the bottom. You know, because I'm starting off small, starting from the bottom, really grinding. And I'm trying to pump out content as much as I can. Um, but in terms of the focus, the boost gauge is now working. So if we go ahead and hop in here, and I'll just go ahead and start it up for you guys. It is now no longer, it doesn't say sensor no more. So the thing that happened, uh, we ended up getting the new sensor replacement. Uh, new sensor replacement, that wasn't the problem. My man took it up and everything, boom, it was still reading that there was an issue. Contacted AEM, AEM, you know what? They might've given us a faulty product, but I'm gonna give them the customer support the customer service and the warranty is A1. So yeah, they might have given us a faulty ass gauge, but you know what? The customer service and the warranty, A1. So I definitely tell anybody, go with AEM. Um, I mean, hey, if you run into this pro problem issue, listen, no issues on support and warranty. They were A1, no headaches, no problems, and they got shit out to us like that. Even though this has probably been like, uh, a month thing you know what hey it is what it is we all got lives we all got shit going on so my man was able to get to it when he got to it and then so plugged all that shit up it wasn't a sensor it was actually the boost gauge itself they were able because then they were looking at the voltages and what it was reading and coming back with and testing and because they do go through a uh, test you know just they really do dot all the i's and cross all the t's to come and find out it was the boost gauge so had to do what they had to do, shift it out like that. My man's hooked everything up, it works perfectly, and uh, yeah, so now it reads boost. Boom, just like that. The focus ain't gonna get as much love no more, though. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and do um, the blow -off valve that I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I get the blow -off valve on, but right now we're gonna be mainly focusing on this thing again. Um, pretty much is based off the simple fact that everything is still fucking OEM, bro. Like, and it still has, uh, it has 87,000 original miles, which means this motor has never been fucked with. Uh, still got the fucking stock headers. Um, the only things that have been changed is like the normal shit. A new water pump, a new starter, alternator is somewhat up to date, uh, thermos, hoses, um... But there's so much other shit that needs to be um, a, a harmonic balancer because I broke that shit a few years ago in a race or after a race, not during. Um, 
So it's like, I mean, come on, like this shit is, is perfect. And it's, you know, I get to go ahead and dip back into my roots. I already know, get rid of these three, um, three way headlights, get just the whole single front shit. I know the fog lights are gonna need to get worked on. Body work is, I could care less about the body work because you know, that could come later. Obviously, you know, four lugs, convert that shit to five. And then, especially with the rear, convert the rear gear ratios to 373s. Like, dude, it's like, this car has so much potential. Yes, I'm definitely gonna get a fucking double dent. Sorry. It's gonna be old school with a touch of modern. Uh, deciding if I might go with a new steering wheel or not. I don't know, thinking on it. Um, really debating if I want to go ahead and probably find a way to delete this or get rid of this. Um, just like, yo, I got mad plans for this shit, seeing that, you know, life really came back around for me, you know? It's like they said, um, like the old saying, you know, if you love something or someone, you let it go and it comes back, then it was meant to be. Um, not really, like, philosopher or any shit like that. It's just certain shit. Pay attention to you listen to um but yeah that's what we're gonna get into today hopefully i go ahead and get this shit back on the road today like at least within the next hour or two uh so yeah i'll go ahead and uh check in with you guys and shit back hopefully once this is all said and done i'm doing this all on my own i have no prior experience with electrical or wiring just hours of looking on youtube so let's see how it goes i mean you gotta learn you gotta start somewhere because i can't keep going to people for help Everybody's busy, and I, I need my baby back on the road, you feel me? So, I'll go ahead and check in with you guys in a little later. Yeah. Okay, so boom, I figured, I'm gonna get the good light for y'all. Figured I'd give y'all an update on what happened. So I was able to successfully, hopefully, still gotta plug it in and test it, but right now it's the finished product. That line, that line. This one, I just, I fucked up, I forgot to put the heat shrink on before binding the two wires. So I had to do some real backyard shit just to get the heat shrink wrap on there because if you cut it and try to like wrap it around it, like I don't know if I got any, any smokers out there when you roll a like a game or something, it's just not gonna work. You're gonna have to try to do it like that, but it's gonna take some finessing. But this is what we are looking with. Hopefully this will do all the tricks. So now what I gotta do is um obviously push all that i gotta uh wrap it with a uh, black i get some black electrical tape wrap these all up to protect it again and uh then just gotta cut everything back together plug it in plug the battery back in and just uh pray because we got a new battery in there and uh, it was dying on me put a new battery in there the car started right up but it was given the battery light and um pretty much because of that wire, this wasn't giving out the, uh, it wasn't getting the proper charge and shit. Hopefully that was the issue. Um, but, finna about to test and find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this shit back together. Uh, plug the battery in. Hopefully it's still got juice. Um, it's pretty much been a week since it's been down. Uh, got time to go ahead and, uh, put this shit together. First time wiring it, I'm not gonna lie, I was low-key scared and worried but you know what just going through it uh, it was actually pretty fun it was actually more fun than i thought to do that shit it was a lot more simple than i thought a couple youtube videos and you know just the right set of tools going to harbor freight and definitely getting um this pittsburgh um wire snip cutter all this bullshit in here it's like i think this was probably about like 15 bucks almost 20 bucks it was real cheap and I got the job done, and then I got this for like about five dollars, just in case. And they actually did come in handy. Thank God I got it. Hey, you know, simple shit. Oh, then I gotta put these fucking bolts back together, and hopefully she gonna be back on the road in a couple. So, cut right back to when that's done. Whew. After a cool couple hours, um, alternators back. Everything's hooked up. The wires are protected. Uh, serpentine belt is on. That's what was kicking my ass the most. I fucked around. Ended up buying a brand new one. Thinking that the old one was fucked up. And really, I was just having a hard time going off this diagram. The battery's hooked up. Let's see what happens.
Battery's dead as shit. Awesome. Battery's dead as fuck. Should have saw that one coming. So now, what I'm gonna have to do is roll it out and uh, try to jump it. Shit. Uh, so close. So close. Oof. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut back once I get this bitch uh, all jumped and shit. So. Boom, she's starting right up, still on charging and shit, only thing that's throwing me off is that, I don't know if y'all can see, the battery light is still on, and it ain't getting to the halfway point of the battery, so, it's the only thing that's scaring me right now, so, I don't know what's going on, but next thing to check for is either alternator fuse or to actually get a new alternator. I don't know, but that's all I'm gonna conclude in this shit. Cause then I'm um, probably gonna wrap everything up. But y'all can go ahead and hear it. 